We shouldn't have to survive. We need to live. We need to live. My brothers need to live. My sisters need to live. My mother needs to live. I want to breathe. I want to breathe. We stand at a critical point in history. Give black people their rights or we will burn this country to ashes. While the world erupted in protest responding to the police killing of George Floyd, Hawk Newsom and his team went to work, building a plan of action. The day before they took over Times Square, Newsom and his sister Shivana, co-founders of Black Lives Matter Greater New York, gathered their team to prepare a list of demands. Um, any reservations about tomorrow's rally, protest, revolution? So um, I'm just trying to keep anxiety at bay. I just want to get the demands tight, the legislation tight, and the press release out. We need a different line to call for medical services. In order for me to call EMS, I have to call 911. And the operator is like, what's the emergency? I want to be truthful. I see police officers literally using excessive force and this person might die. The Newsom siblings were born into an activist family. Now they're building on that legacy. She's running for Congress and he's growing their organization. They're about to introduce a set of proposals focused on reform in New York City. It's our job as organizers to set forth demands. Tell me what the demands are. We want to control our communities. We want to control our schools. We want to control our economics. And we want access. We want equity. I do not believe in equality. We do not fight for equality. Equality is a myth. We plan on creating and advocating for a new existence for black people in this country. Good job packing this. I ain't think it all fit. I mean, we organizers, right? You gotta organize a car, too. You can't organize a car. <laughs> you gonna organize a liberation. We sat back and wrote legislation. Everybody out in the streets, hooping and hollering, running around. Cool, more power to you. But guess what? While we got the country by its balls, we gonna shove le legislation right down its throat. Black people really need to understand that Democrats are not on their side. Republicans hate us and Democrats are not on their side. All we have is us, period. George Floyd! Crowds packed the Midtown streets, and Newsom's team seized its opportunity to take the mic. Protest without strategy is an empty threat that will flip this system on its head. No justice! No if you Latin X and you need to be here, you need to fight for your black brothers and sisters. If we don't get justice, this world will never Peace. Even Nick Cannon showed up as one of the biggest financial supporters of Newsom's group. I'm tired of coming up with catchphrases, tired of coming up with poems, tired of marching, and our ancestors have been tired for so long. This isn't a march, this isn't a rally, this is a revolution! Shivana Newsom talked about the Black Act a platform of ideas focused on reforming police, prison, education, and housing. We're about to drop these policies on them because nothing happens for our people without legislation. Right here in New York City, if we defunded the NYPD, that would bring $425 million to our school system. Defunding the police, what does that mean? Cutting their budget. Put that money back into the community. You worried about crime, invest in the community, and that will reduce crime. The police have proven that they have way too much power. Take them out of our schools, take that same money that, that, that they have, and hire guidance counselors. Ain't nobody playing no more. Yes, no more. Mr. Governor, 
Chokeholds are banned in most police departments around the country, and they still do it. So pass the I Can't Breathe Act and send them to jail when they deny us medical treatment. Because America was built on blood and it rules by fear. Fuck peace. We on some Malcolm shit now. The first and most important demand that we have is defend our communities by any means necessary. What is so, by any means necessary? It means we're not gonna stand there and let somebody choke George Floyd or Eric Garner to death and not do anything just because they're police. I'm talking about the Black Ops. Black Ops is the newest part of the organization. It will recruit and train so-called peace officers, armed community members to police the police. We are protecting our community from the police and from those who seek to oppress us. Yeah, yeah I know you, some of you looking like, damn, these niggas is radical, you're right. Yeah. What you gonna do, shoot me? You're already shooting us. What would you say to criticism that that's gonna fuel more escalation? As a black man, and I talk about armed peace officers in our communities. People worry that it'll escalate. But when white people take assault rifles to courthouse steps, to halls of justice, they bypass the police. They're threatening politicians with assault rifles in an era of mass shootings. How do you feel seeing those pictures? Honestly, I said they understand how America works. That's the American way. That's what America respects. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! The first chapters of the Black Ops will be tested in Atlanta and the Bronx with plans to go national. But Newsom doesn't have buy-in from everyone in the Black Lives Matter movement. BLM Greater New York is not only not a part of BLM, it's also not a part of the movement for Black Lives. Um, what's problematic is that a lot of times the actions and demands that are put out are not in coordination with the national movement. Black Lives Matter is a decentralized movement. So while distinctions between the groups exist, a lot of protesters don't care. It doesn't matter to me as long as we're all, you know, have the same purpose of getting justice for the black community. I think what brought us out today specifically here was the announcement that there was going to be a blueprint announced. There was an agenda. Did you take away from that 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 threat of force needs to be a part of this movement to be successful? I think it's about defense, not allowing a bunch of people to stand around and watch a man get killed right in front of you. At some point, you have to realize that a government system is killing people. The right thing is not to stand there and let it happen. There are people in this country who think it's very, very American to fight back with weapons for a haircut. I'm not even showing up at steps with guns when you're killing me. I don't think that violence is the answer, but I do not believe in allowing a man to die in front of me and doing nothing about it. We don't need white men with badges coming in, treating us like trash and then throwing us in jail. Black Lives Matter Greater New York is not an official Black Lives Matter global network chapter. I think what we did today was pretty official. I don't have time to fight with other black people. There are people out here in groups, from groups that don't associate with us because we're too radical, but their members were out here in full force. What is being too radical? Really pushing for real change. Like some people want incremental change. We want revolution. Revolution. We want revolution. 